business process flow as this name itself means the process that would def the flow that define the process for any business hey everyone this is prashant chaudhary i welcome you all to my channel classy power app this is the part 6 of model driven series here we will understand how we can define the business process flow for any dataverse table or our model driven application so this business process flow any record that is coming into the system can go to certain level of steps in order to complete the whole business process so that can either have only one table or it needs to go through from multiple tables so that's why this business process flow is not a table property it's the whole dataverse property so in our model driven application we have created only one table for simplicity so we will create a business process flow that would ask the different different column values at different different steps once the user will pass all the column values in all the columns at a time our process would end so let me just take you to my screen here i am on my solution and in my solution i have only one table that is a student table and a student table has student photo name age date of birth and email so let's take an example i want to design a process on the first step it should only ask the name then on the second step it would ask for the age and then on the third step it would ask for the date of birth once the user pass all these three steps then my process will be completed in your business case or maybe in your requirement you might need to connect with multiple tables in order to complete the whole business process so i'll tell you how we can connect with multiple tables or in my case i have only one table so how we can configure that so i'm coming back to my solution and then this is my model driven app i'm going here and click on this edit and then edit in a new tab i already opened my model driven application in my eldrisk mode then i will go to the automation and here is a place from where you can create the business process flow for your application now i will hit on this new business process flow i need to pass some name so let's say complete student data in steps this is the name i'm passing for my business process flow then it need a table from where it will start if you have multiple tables then you can add multi other tables in the series but it would need one initial table okay so our initial table is student table i'll select this one and then create once i hit on this create button it will take and open okay it has blocked my pop up let me open my pop up it would open the editor screen of my business process flow so here you can see it is similar to that of the business rule editor screen you have the components you have the steps that needs to be performed you have the properties for each step or the component that you would add inside your business process flow so let's say for the first step if i op click on this first i have the display name as is new stage and i say stage 1 or maybe let's say step 1 what i want in my first step qualify identify okay let's ignore these things and today is student coming here and i can add the details into this one so it already have a data step data step is like where from you can pass the where from the user can pass some input okay 
so let me just click on this step and it is asking the step name is pass student name and then which field I want to populate here I want to populate name then sequence sequence is one apply then I want next step then I would say next stage and the next stage also I want some data to be passed but in the next stage I want the age that the user, user should pass the age so I will select the data field as age again click OK if you want to put any type of validation or maybe any type of a different based on the condition it should ask different different values you can use that too but for the simplicity I'm just making a simple business process flow you can add some conditions okay let's put a condition now after a second step I want to put a condition and this condition says if my age is less than less than five what it should do it would be a age step and that step would be the I will pass the date of birth if my age is greater than five data field to be date of birth apply I think I forgot to put click on this apply button at multiple places so I will do that I again come back and then go to this component and then put a step and then open this one and if my age is greater than five then I want it to populate the email for me and hit on the apply let me check whether I put it all these to know is less than five apply come back second step it was asking first step was taking name this one was taking age okay I clicked on this okay and this one was passing the name okay now I have done my business process flow and what this process is like first it will take the student name then on the second step it will ask the student age then based on the age it will populate the email or the date of birth I will simply click on this save and then I can I will need to click on this activate the same way we activated our business rule let me click on this activate activate it it is taking little time to make it done wait okay let me try to refresh what happened here exit page okay my this thing has it is ready I guess yes I just need to activate it activate this business process flow okay so okay it has given uh, it, it is raising some issue might be it has some issues we need to fix it where we can let me check the condition is age then greater than five validate validation so I guess some issue is in my 
business process flow. And we are running out of time. Let me, okay, now it has activated. So without any issue, if you have. Okay, now I need to go back to my app and see it is already attached in my app. Now I'll come back to my application and try to refresh. It is not coming. Okay, so here you can see I have this some flow at the top. This is nothing just the indication that the business process flow is attached here. Now I'll go to the new step, open this one and it is passing pass the student name. That's what we pass as a stage name. So we said, let's say test student. Okay. Now on the next stage, we need to pass the name age, let's say six. Now on the next stage, if I just try to save this, let me see what happened here. Age is six. Okay, let me pass ABC at the rate gmail.com. Save. Okay, now I need to hit on this next button, next button, and then my finish. Okay, so here I can see my business process flow is completed for this particular record. I will create a new video about this business process flow that would cover this business process flow in detail. Okay, but just for some introduction of this, I have created this one. Okay, so thank you all. Thanks for watching this video. And I will try to cover the detail of each and every step of business process flow in other videos. Okay, so thank you all. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.